Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Iraqi ULG Gel Polish, the Neon Collection. I'm going to swatch them and do nail art. I do have a coupon code. It'll be linked in the description box. These are all 10 ml polishes. I love that they got the little swatch cap dots on top. Tell you what color they are. And it says that they are a natural resin, faint smell, and there's a whole little instruction pamphlet that comes with them. Bless you, Cotton. If you got any questions or anything, they normally have the answers in there. This is 8201, beautiful hot pink. And this orange is 8209. 8208 is the green one. And then 8204 is the yellow. No, the... I think I've got the yellow and green kind of mixed up. They're so very similar. I'm going to use my Model 1's base coat because I don't have their base coat from this company. So I'm going to go in with a thin coat of the Model 1's just regular old gel base coat. Be very careful and make sure to cap my free edge. I'm going to have to break Woody out. Well, actually, I'm going to go ahead and break the brush out. With gel, I don't play. You guys know I don't like getting that on my skin. I suggest you don't either if you use these products. Because after you cure it, it's there. I've cured it for 60 seconds. And now I'm going to go in with my first swatch. I think this one here is the more yellow of the two. I'm going in for, with a very, you know... Thin coat. I don't like doing thick coats. I say this every time I play with gel polish. I like thin coats. And look at this orange. I love the orange. <laughs> and these kind of have like a jelly consistency to them. They're a little squishy, which, you know, I like that personally. I think that's, you know... It took me years to get into jelly looks, but now I'm there. And I am doing a thin coat on all of these. I'll do for all of the coats that I do. Need sure to cap my free edge. And now this, well, see, I'm telling you, I, I'm really struggling. Maybe this one's the more yellow one and the other one's green. I don't know. We'll see after we build them up. But they are very, they're those highlighter colors. And they're very, very similar to me. I'll cap that free edge on that one too. And that is my poly gel patch on that nail. And here we go with the pink. Now you guys know I like the pink. Love the pink. And I'll just go ahead and fess up. The pink and the orange are my favorites out of these four. I'm going in with my cleanup brush before I cure these. Going to do a real good job of cleaning up. And then I will be curing them for 60 seconds under my 48 watt UV LED lamp. And we're going to do our second coats of these polishes. Now these polishes were sent to me for review. They were sent for free. I'm not getting paid to do this though. I don't get any kickback. I'm just showing you the products that are out there. You can find these on Amazon. I will have a link down below where you can find them. And there is a code, a coupon code, that will be down there as well. Now, I'm not sure how much the coupon code's good for, but, you know, just put it in your basket, apply the coupon code, and see what it tells you, and make up your mind whether, you know, you want to purchase them. So, that's, that's that. I just want to let you know that... Um, not sponsored or paid or anything like that. I just get products and I show you what's out there. These are beautiful polishes though. They're going on real smooth. I'm not having any flooding issues or dragging. I'm able to get the thin coats that I like to do. Uh, and I just, I really do like them. And with summer coming up, you know, I don't know about where you're at, but already here, it's getting awful warm. We've already had the real feels over 100 degrees. So neons are right, right in line with that heat. All right, so I'm going to clean up and cure these again for 60 seconds. 
And then I am going to go ahead and do a third coat. I can see visible nail lines still. Third coat's my limit, though. I will not go past three coats. That's just how I do. Um, there is still going to be a tiny bit of visible nail line, which is, you, you can kind of expect that sometimes with jellies. Uh, I plan on doing some nail art over this, so the, the visible nail line won't be near as noticeable. And it also depends on how white your tips are. That, that has a lot to do with it, too. Okay, now that we've got the third coat on these, the ring finger is the more green one, and the pointer finger or index finger is the more yellow one. And here's that gorgeous pink. Love the, love, love the pink. The pink and the orange are just, to me, they're just singing. I'm going to cure those again for 60 seconds. And now I'm going to top them with a matte top coat. They kind of dried glossy, so, well, not kind of. They dried glossy. <laughs> and I wanted to see what they would look like mattified. So I decided to go ahead and use this matte top coat. I'm going to do my cleanup again, and I do recommend, highly, highly recommend cleaning up between every layer every time. Curing it for another 60 seconds, and there they are mattified. I'm going to be using BC04 for my nail art today. I've got my Braves Diva polish out. This is on the black stamping polish, and my Beauty Scraper and my AliExpress stamper. I'm going to use a couple of images off this plate. One that's a little more bold, and then the other one that I do is going to be a little more faint. I love this image. And that black over that hot pink is just, yes, please. I'm cleaning that stamper off on my lint roller, and I'm going to use that fainter image over on the side there for some of my other nails. And if y'all can hear that huffing and puffing, that is Cotton, and he is bed surfing. I hope to get that on video one day so I can show y'all what he looks like when he bed surfs. Or bed swims, or whatever you want to call it. It's hilarious. So back to this more bold image that's going to go on my ring finger. And I love, love, love neons. They're right up there, you know, in my favorites list. Neons, hollows, duochromes. Love. <laughs> I'm going to top it today with Posh Top Coat, which I probably should have used like the gel top coat. I don't know what I was thinking. I think I might have just been on autopilot. So here they are, all done. I hope you enjoyed this one. Please leave me a comment down below. And let me know what you think about these polishes. And that is it for today. So I want to thank you for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon.